Okay, let's look at adding bases with exponents. Here we have 2 to the power 2, and we have 2 to the power 3. And you may be tempted to think that we can add them together because there's 2 there, but that rule doesn't work for addition. Not for addition, you have to expand them out. If we did this, we said 2 to the power 2 plus 2 to the power 3 would come to the wrong answer. It would work out like this. It's not equal to 2 to the power 5, which is what you're thinking of doing. But don't do that because the answer would come to 32. Instead, you're going to do this way. You're going to make your 2 to the power 2, 2 times 2, which is actually what it stands for. And you're going to make your 2 to the power 3, 2 times 2 times 2. And then you're going to find your answer to each of those brackets and add those answers. So this answer is 4 and this one is 8. And 4 plus 8 comes to 12. You can see it's a far cry from 32. So you can't just take the base and then add these up. It doesn't work like that for addition. It works like that further on in your um, power lectures that are coming up. It works like that for multiplication. But for addition, it doesn't work like that. The answer is completely different. So let's do a few of those. This one would be, it's 3 to the power 2 and 3 to the power 3 would be written like that, 3 to the power 2 and 3 to the power 3, and then you work them out, 9 plus 27, and you come to the answer, 36. So when it comes to adding of powers, you expand them. That's your safest route. Okay, the last example would be 4 to the 2 plus 3 to the 2. It would be written out like that. You've expanded them. And then you're going to come to the answers of the brackets, and then you're going to find your answer is 25. Okay, so for addition, you're going to expand, as long as you can remember that now. I'll see you in another lecture to do with the new rules for multiplication and division, which you still have to learn when it comes to powers and exponents. Please subscribe to my channel. I dearly love all my viewers. I am happy that they are doing well, and I want you to be one of them. You can follow all my videos on YouTube. There are many. We start in grade 1, and we work all the way up to grade 10. 